Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to fix a low-resolution JPEG image and turn it into a vector image for use in engraving. So, uh, one of my friends sent me this picture here. Um, it is very low resolution and um, it doesn't really matter you know, how, how good you blow this up. When you vectorize it, it's just going to be horrible. So, um, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape and Google to fix this and turn it into a vectorized image that we can uh, scale to any size without losing um, any of the, the quality. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, start a new project. And I always like to come into properties and change everything over to millimeters. Default units, millimeters. Over here, millimeters. Okay, everything's in millimeters now. We're going to import our image. And uh, I have it on the desktop. And fire science, here it is. So here's our original JPEG image. We're going to bring it in. And we're going to hold control and zoom down into this. And we're going to try to vectorize this. So the normal steps for vectorizing is we have it selected. We're going to hit trace bitmap under path. Select remove background, live preview. And we're going to move the threshold up until we get this little guy who's, uh, you can see the light gray to start showing. Might be a little too far. We can see we're blowing out the letters. Maybe right about there. I select OK and then I want to close this window. So there we go. This is what we get when we vectorize this image. So we can get rid of this uh, original image now. Uh, one thing to note here is you know we got a, a symbol there. We've got a fire hydrant here. We got an axe up here. So these are the, the things we're going to try to recreate. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do all of them. I'm just going to show you how to do uh, one and then the text, and then uh, and then we'll uh, you can uh, kind of infer how to do the rest. It's just a, a long process. So I'm going to hit delete, get rid of that old one. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to fix this fire hydrant. So if we zoom in here, that doesn't even look like a fire hydrant. So we're going to come over to uh, Google, and I typed in fire hydrant. If you go over here to tools, it gives you some extra options. So I select black and white, clip art. Most clip art is free, so uh, you can select clip art there. Um, you can tell which ones are not free because they, they have all these watermarks on them. So we're just going to use this this fire hydrant here. I like this one. Uh, the other uh, good one for for vectorizing is is line drawings. Uh, line drawings um, also vectorize very well. Uh, but we're going to go to clip art and we're going to select this guy. So uh, this is the the one we want to use, and it again is a free clip art image. So. We don't have any issues there. So we're going to save the image as, and I'm going to put it in the Fire Science folder that I'm using. So we've downloaded it, and we're going to come back into Inkscape. I selected the wrong thing. Here we go, Inkscape. So let's zoom out a little bit. Press Control and hit the mouse wheel there, and it zooms out. We're going to import. We're going to import our fire hydrant. Okay. So this fire hydrant is not a vector. So if we select uh, edit paths by nodes, there's no nodes. Oops. Seemed to have locked up escape there. Okay, so what we need to do is turn this into a vector just like we did the, the main image. We're going to go to object, uh, I'm sorry, path, trace bitmap. Uh, 
that looks about right. And we're gonna hit OK. Close this, remove this. We're gonna delete our original. We're gonna lock the aspect ratio, which is this little lock button right here. And then we're going to move this over where I wanna put it. And we're gonna scale it down until it's the same size. It's a little big. Perfect. Now one thing we can do here is put this on a layer and then just turn that layer off and it would stay right there. I'm not too concerned with that, I'm just going to move it off to the side here. We're going to edit path by, uh, by nodes and we're going to select over here and we're going to zoom in on where it, where it goes and we're just going to get rid of all of these. So if you click on one and then press control A, it selects the entire path and delete. Select one, control A, 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 delete. Uh, you could also like drag a window and select a bunch of nodes that way. So then we're gonna go back to your to our arrow and we're gonna move our fire hydrant there. So now we fixed the fire hydrant. So uh, you do to do the same process for uh, this logo, this axe. You just go try to find one that that looks good online, or you could just uh, you know pull out the lines and start drawing it yourself. I think sometimes it's easier just to you know in something that you're trying to do quickly like this to just find a similar on on Google. So now we're going to fix the fire science. So we're going to uh, select and create text. And we're going to put the words, uh, looks like it's all in caps, Fire Science. And we're going to turn this down to, I don't know, like 12. That looks good. Alright, great. So now we need to create a path. Okay, so we're going to zoom in here where the words are, and we're going to create a path. There we go. So there's our path. That path doesn't follow the line of the words, though, so we're going to edit by node. We're going to add a node. Uh, we have to have this selected. So we have the two nodes selected, and if we add a node, it will add one right in the middle. Uh, so we've selected all three there, so we click off it, select the middle one, and we want to drag it basically so that all three points are in the middle of the words. So we're going to take this node and we're going to give it some arms, so we can adjust it a little bit. That looks about good. Perfect. So now let's get rid of Fire Science. We select one node, hit Control A, Control A, delete, Control, oh, press wrong button, Control A, delete, Control A, delete. And you can see this gets to be repetitive. Control A, delete, Control A, delete. All right. So now we need to put this fire science on that path. So if you select them both, so you select that and then hold shift and select the line. If we go up to text, we can put the text on the path. So now if we unselect both, just select the words, we want it to be in the middle. Missing our E. There's our E. So we can, we can kind of play with this line a little bit until our words look right. So it looks like our text is just a little too big. There we go. 
So if we take this down to an 11 point font, uh, not a one point font, an 11 point font. There we go. That might be a little better. Perfect. All right. So now if we just take this line and we turn off the stroke, it disappears. So that line's still there, so we can use it to to uh, alter this text if we decide that we don't quite like the angle. But you can see we went from a, a text that was completely blown out and unreadable to now half of our thing looks, looks pretty good. Uh, Fire Science looks good. Uh, we still need to redo the EVIT. Uh, we have our our uh, fire hydrant over here and so if we just do this process and apparently this is supposed to be a nozzle um, replace this with a, a better looking nozzle um, and then we'll have something that can be um, enlarged so right now if we select all and this is something that, that I just recently learned if you try to scale it up you see how the fire science gets all screwed up so I'll undo that. If we turn this into a group, it will scale up just fine. So if you have text on a path, you want to group it with everything else that you're doing um, so that when you scale it up, the words don't go, go crazy. Anyway, so that's my Inkscape tutorial for today. Obviously, you can see if you just kept at it, you could eventually get it to look like this um, which is a nice great uh, high quality image that you can scale up and down and you can use to engrave on your on your laser system so uh, that's all I have for today happy lasing folks <laughs>